how do we rationalize something like root 3 plus root 7? This is actually a sum of two irrational numbers. What do we multiply this with to get a rational number? Let me give you a hint. a plus b multiplied by a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. This is one of the most important identities we will use in rationalization. So what do we multiply this with? Let's try multiplying root 3 plus root 7 with root 3 minus root 7. Using this identity, we can say that this equals root 3 squared minus root 7 squared. Root 3 squared equals 3 and root 7 squared equals 7. Hence, this equals 3 minus 7 which equals minus 4. And minus 4 is a rational number. We multiplied this with root 3 minus root 7 to get a rational number. Hence, we can say that root 3 minus root 7 is a rationalizing factor of root 3 plus root 7. It can also be called the conjugate of root 3 plus root 7. All we did to get the conjugate is change the sign in between. We just made this plus sign a minus sign to get the conjugate. Let's look at a couple of examples in which we need to rationalize the denominator. Here's our first example. 3 by root 5. The denominator root 5 is irrational and to get this in the standard form, we need to make the denominator rational. We can write this as 3 by root 5 multiplied by root 5 divided by root 5. We are effectively multiplying this by 1. 3 multiplied by root 5 equals 3 root 5 and root 5 multiplied by root 5 equals 5. This makes the denominator rational. Remember, by rationalizing the denominator, we are not changing the value of the original expression. This is equivalent to this. Just that the denominator here is rational and we did this just to get it in the standard form. The second example asks us to rationalize the denominator of 4 divided by root 7 plus root 2. To rationalize the denominator, all we have to do is change the sign in between. The sign here is plus. So the rationalizing factor of the denominator will be root 7 minus root 2. We write this expression as 4 divided by root 7 plus root 2 multiplied by root 7 minus root 2 divided by root 7 minus root 2. The numerator will equal 4 multiplied by root 7 minus root 2. The denominator is in the form a plus b multiplied by a minus b which equals a squared minus b squared. Using this identity, we can write the denominator as root 7 squared minus root 2 squared. That equals 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5 and we get our expression as 4 multiplied by root 7 minus root 2 divided by 5. That's it. We got what we wanted. The denominator is rational now. Now let's look at the last example. 6 divided by 5 minus root 3. This example is slightly different from this one. In the previous example, both the numbers in the denominator had a radical, while in this example, only one number has a radical. But this denominator too is irrational. What do we do now? Do we just change the sign in between? Just like we did in the previous example? Yes, we can write this as 6 by 5 minus root 3 multiplied by 5 plus root 3 divided by 5 plus root 3. The numerator will equal the product of these two terms, 6 multiplied by 5 plus root 3 and the denominator will equal 5 squared minus root 3 squared which equals 25 minus 3. And we can write this as 6 multiplied by 5 plus root 3 divided by 22. Simplifying it further, we can write it as 3 by 11 multiplied by 5 plus root 3. Since 11 is a rational number, we can say that we have successfully got the original number in standard form. Remember, 
Whenever we have two terms like this which form an irrational number, just change the sign in between them to get the rationalizing factor. Plus will become minus and minus will become plus.